Now we're ready to go. Hi, hi. Hello. Welcome uh, to a video that I have no idea what we're watching. What are we watching? Um, two things we're going to watch. One, I like to serve myself a uh, YouTube. So I'm a certified YouTube mechanic. Certified? Uncertified YouTube mechanic. How uncertified. But I was going to react some um, bad, you know, some bad car repairs on a sh channel called Just Rolled In. But first, I want to talk about last weekend. As of recording this, it was about a week ago, we were at the Kansas Speedway. And if you saw our shorts, we were out there. The race was, it was raining. Then they were getting the track dried. Then it started raining again. So me and my wife looked at each other and said, yeah, fuck it, they're not going to get the race in today. And went on home. Well, no, first we went to uh, Overland Park, looked around the mall. That was fun. Found this nice little uh, C2 figure at uh, the vintage stock they have there. I love vintage stock. Then went down to uh, go to get Smash Moon. Then I looked at my phone and saw that they got the race going. So I'm like, fuck. Let's go home, watch the race. And I got to miss this. So. I don't know why it's running. Why is it running like shit? Anyway. Yeah. So watching this. Frames. The buffering. Yeah. Alright. Sorry. I gotta pause. This is driving me nuts for it. Drop it down to. There. Better. Coming around. And watching this. Oh, come on. Okay, never mind. And then you get to see. That missed that. The five winning? Yeah. The closest finish in NASCAR history. We were there. And got to miss it. <laughs> yeah. Because he didn't want to sit in the rain. You and me looked at each other, and it was my call, and I said, hey, He's the NASCAR fan. I'm just kind of there. I'm I'm okay to NASCAR. I don't hate it or anything. I'm just yeah. not the big fan like he is. Missed this. Missed that. I missed this. I could have seen this live. I could have had a short of it live. No. Got to miss it. I, I'm, I'm bitter. Screw YouTube and your uh, quality, but this is what Sneeko feels like when he gets, watches go again railed in front of him. This is what I feel like to get cucked every time I watch this. What? Where? I don't know how Sneeko feels like. Anyway. Yeah. So I've been bitter on that for the past week. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be... I'm... Moving on. You're okay. comparing it to me! How could you? Anyway, I want to watch a couple of these short videos of... Um... I'm not going to cheat on you, you jerk. That was not the joke. Ew. Moving on. <laughs> Got a couple of videos here I want to watch. Let's watch the latest one of... Um, also, if I look kind of weird, I'm sorry. I'm trying to glue something back together. Oh, yeah. Also, sorry about the noise in the background. We got a 3D printer printing me a uh, mega anime figure. That's going to take, what, 22 hours for it? A what anime figure? A mega anime figure. It's not mega. It's roughly average size. You're just excited because it's naked. Anyway. Customer states... Each it's rim. From ReZero. And right. she's naked. Customer states she bought a, bought off a Facebook marketplace. Let's see what they got. I like their dirty little bit. Oh, why is... Hey guys, welcome to the new episode. Maybe it doesn't like being connected to the it's computer. And as a customer, just purchased computer to computer. I was told by the seller it just needed a new back. Is it still running That's, like a yeah, potato? No. That's a trailing arm. That completely rusted off. What's a trailing arm? It basically holds your axle in place. And look at the rust up here, too. Ugh. 
I want to know what the rest of this car looks like. How, how bad is your Thunderbird's rust? Oh, uh, the one we bought that I need to work on. It's not this bad. You tell us someone repaired it at one point, but it needs to be stripped down. That will probably be a video at some point down the road. Birdie. I have a birdie in my hands. I'm trying to glue back together. Oh, uh, no, that whole axle. Oh. When this customer's Jeep was in for an oil change, Jeep. the mechanic noticed that the customer had a wired harness for these lights zip tied to the front drive shaft. So, should you be zip tying stuff like that? Um, let me put it this way this piece here is called a drive shaft that spins. Oh, so that's just gonna <laughs> rip right the fuck off. Oh, yeah. If you don't know what you're doing, Google it. At least. You think most of this was done by women's? No, this is done by idiots. What about women's? Women's are idiots. Okay, so. <laughs> I'd be doing that. Uh... The customer never upgraded their front drive shaft or modified their exhaust when they left their Jeep, which caused their front drive. Okay, so that's your you joint of. Or CV joints, I think that we're on the newer cars. That's completely broken off. Why is my phone going off? I don't know. I just saw Lum dancing. And it's just completely shot. That is from. You should click them more often. Sorry, I missed that completely. Yes. And touch your deposit. But yeah, that's completely. Oh, anyway. As the customer said, they can't fill up one of the tires of air. The mechanic found that the hubcap was slightly in the way of the Dyson, so he moved the hubcap, and now he can fill up the tire of air. <laughs> so basically, the hubcap was pinching off the uh, air bowl, air stem. They couldn't get air into it, so they paid fifty dollars labor to someone put air in their tires. Hey. Here's a good question: Does PLA, uh, this does glue work on PLA? Why are you messing with that? Because I'm trying to glue the tail back together. We're trying to show the video. But I can't just put it down. Where do I put it? Anyway. So, they have a... What the... Is that a keypad? That was a keypad. Yeah, it looked like a phone. Okay, so look. There's a key fob. Uh huh. Huh. Did they put a coat, like a apartment coat, in to start your car? That's kind of cool. They did what? They had a rattle going down the road. I didn't even hear anything with those CDs. It was the CDs? Yeah. The CDs are rattling. I like, didn't even hear it in the video. They didn't sound like they were rattling in the video. Yeah. Okay, so... This is for you. Oh, it's because I'm short? Is that some short jokes? Uh, I'm sorry I'm not made of a monster. <laughs> Custom brake pedal and accelerated pedal extenders. Customer states their car sounds like a UFO. <laughs> That's state. cool. What was it they said it was again? A UFO. No, what they said was wrong with it. They didn't say anything was wrong with it. They said it up here. Oh, what does it say? If this would go away. Customer I saw something touch. Oh my god. Oh my god, people. People are stupid. You paid a mechanic the equivalent of one hour of labor, which is probably about 50 to 75 bucks, to literally roll your window up for you. Oh. So it was, the window was a jar? Yeah. The window was a jar. Yeah. Alright. 
miss it. The customer didn't mention until the shop asked that they tried to perform their own brake job but could not figure out. Your brakes are shot. <laughs> so, what's going on in this picture? This is a brake rotor, which I need to put new brake rotors on my car, but they're not this bad. I, I, it's supposed to be attached to this hub. Oh. Oh, so it shouldn't be sagging like that? This is what stops your car. Oh. That's what stops your car. Okay, okay. So it should not have been... Is it supposed to be on that black plate looking thing? It's supposed it? to be on this round thing right here, the hub. Oh, okay. It's not supposed to be sagging down. Yeah, they're, they're shot. Huh. And this SUV was brought in as the customer says it smells like soap inside the car. The customer had just put his bar of soap on the cowl to try and prevent... But, it, but why do you care if your car smells like soap? Soap is a good smell. Depending on what kind of soap you get. But if they're the ones that put the soap there in the first place, I would assume... That's Irish like... Spring soap, too. That's stuff I use. If I use some liquid stuff. I like soap. I think it would smell fine. Why would you... You put it there, then you took it to the shop and asked him why your car smells like soap. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <sighs> I think I used the wrong glue. Customer AC stop working. AC stop working. Um. Really? AC on. Now it works. Really? Do people literally not know how to use their brains? I'm literally serious. I'm. I I'm kind of dumbfounded by that one. Just. You don't, when your AC's not on. Do you not know how to use a button? Okay, that that's just sad. As far as states, cruise control does not work. This customer's vehicle is not equipped with cruise control from the factory. Heh. <laughs> my old, my old uh, Cobalt was like that, didn't have cruise at all. Huh. Four wheel drive. Four by four. Four by four. It is not a 4x4. What is it? It's a two-wheel drive. They just put 4x4 four four stickers oh. on a... Unfortunately, so they got the screwed? Yeah. Or they're just bragging or making crap up. Mm. Well, yeah, you paid for 4x4 four four and you, got, you didn't get that. It's... I've seen a video of someone got, had that happen to them on this. Mm. Like the four-wheel drive wasn't working. That told they didn't have a four-wheel drive. Oh. What is going on here? That is some. That is damage. It looks really warped. Oh. Holy. What? Ooh. Yeah. So a mud flap hanger, which I think is on the back of a big rig, came off while going down the highway and went through the oil pan. Oh, oh, it's kind of like similar to that one time, except that was just a tire. Yeah. Just debris on the road. Yeah. And it pops up and hits you while you're driving. But, um, this would be called a death trap. It looks like a rusty graham cracker. That is called a death trap. A chicken. So cute. If you land on the muffler, you get some, uh, you get some roasted chicken. No! <laughs> I want to keep him. I call that dinner. I want the chicken. He's cute. Officially seeing everything. Submit clips that you personally filmed on our website at justrolledinwhitey.com. What about the white white car now? White car now? Oh, that was like a low rider. Did the hydraulics smell function or something? Oh, he did that on purpose. I personally no. like... Wait, what truck do you like out of this one? I like this one here. What truck do I like? Oh, what car do you like out of this what one? What vehicle I like? I like the first one. The green and... Yeah, that looks The woody? Pretty. Yeah, that one looks pretty. The inner, my inner redneck is going for this truck here. Is it a Bronco? No, that's like a square body truck. Even though yeah. it's got a little bit of rust here and there. It's still, that's, that's a truck. Weird. Not sure about this. This is just a tractor pull. Eh... I don't want to mind something like that. What is that? Some kind of Jeep? Yeah, it's like an old Jeep. Uh... Oh, it says Jeep right there. <laughs> Alright. So what's the one in the middle? What's that one in the middle? This here? 
that's from that's actually from Australia, I think. Oh. That's like an like I forget what it. Comment if you know what it is. Comment if you know what it is, and thank you. Wanna do one more, or are we allowed to do one more? No, we got 16 minutes out of this video. Me. All right. Bye. Bye.